We're joined now by Pete Mangone, president of the Orthopedic Foot and Ankle Foundation. Now, before we jump to this interview, I have to point out your incredible fashion choice here. Who are you wearing? Tell me all about this fabulous shirt. So, the, yeah, so as the president of the foundation, my job is to try to help uh, promote the mission through gathering funds. And one of the ways we do that is by giving donations or having our members give donations. So this year I elected to make some t-shirts here that have the various different ways that you can donate to the foundation, whether you want to do the text to give, you can uh, go to this QR code, it'll take you to the website. I've got it on the front, I've got it on the back. So that basically anywhere you see me, you can take the opportunity to donate to the foundation and continue to commit to supporting the organization and the mission it has toward educating you. All right, let's, let's jump into this foundation. You're the, the fundraising arm of the AOFAS. What kind of programs are you raising funds for? Tell us uh, what, what this foundation is actually doing. Right, so there's really three major elements uh, of education, research, and humanitarian uh, focus. And so from an education standpoint, we're looking to sponsor uh, you know, everything from early resident education, we've really made an emphasis in the last couple of years toward trying to expand foot and ankle knowledge into the younger residents so that when they do have an opportunity to choose what specialty they're going into, they have some exposure to foot and ankle because unfortunately in a lot of residency programs they don't get as much exposure to foot and ankle early on. And we're even reaching out to medical students as well just to give them a flavor of what it's like to do foot and ankle. From a research perspective, we have a robust research committee that uh, reviews all the research requests that we get from members. And, uh, and so we actually have a record number this year. We actually are giving out a record amount of, of money to those to support research projects. We have a new uh, program, specifically a Young Investigators Award that we're giving for people in the first five years of their career to get them involved in research as well. And then on the humanitarian side, we're trying to expand our programming there where we have um, some collaborative agreements with outside organizations with uh, mission trips in Kenya and, uh, and a new one down in the Dominican Republic that's going to be going on um, later this year. And so those are the programming that we're looking to support through the uh, foundation gifts. That is a lot. So you have programs that are already established, you have programs that you're launching actually at this annual meeting and programs to come in the future. Correct, correct, yes. And we want to continue to expand our program, but the way to do that is with funding. And that's why we need gifts from our individual members, from our industry partners, um, from all walks of life, if you will. We want people to support the organization. You know, certainly there's some basic fundamental uh, operating costs that the dues and, um, and those sort of aspects go to uh, funding the regular annual meeting. But these are extra programming elements. Uh, we have focusing uh, other, other programs. We have focusing on women's leadership and DEI initiatives, those sorts of things that we're trying to expand in order to continue to make foot and ankle the specialty for people to go into. In closing, I think the most important thing here is we do want to continue all of these amazing things that you've shared as evident by your shirt. We want people to donate. For anyone at home who's, who's listening to this interview, um, they're maybe on the fence about supporting, they're not sure. What would you say just to that person? Just, this is so important. We need your help. Yeah, so I think it really comes down to, you know, I remember my fellowship director, Jim Samarco, who is uh, um, now retired, but he sat me down when I was in my fellowship and he said, listen, Pete, he said, the AOFAS is very important in your life. It's, it's helping to support your fellowship. It's helping to support your education, not now, but in the future. It helps support the entire organization, uh, uh, you know, the entire patient base and the knowledge base. He said, it's vital and important for you to be involved, be involved both physically, you know, helping out committees, doing things like that, but being involved financially because ultimately, those are the things that help build the programming that we can do. And so to anybody out there, what I really say is just any amount is helpful. Just whatever you can donate at this point, if you're early in your career, the important part is getting into that habit of donating to this very vital and important organization, um, which will play a huge role in your career. And then as you do find success and you're able to, um, you know, maybe get some financial uh, uh, resources, if you have some financial resources later in your career, then hopefully that, that, uh, uh, that tradition of, of giving that you developed as a younger uh, orthopedic surgeon, you'll hopefully see the Foot and Ankle Society as a worthwhile uh, volunteer organization and fundraising organization that we can provide for you and that you'll donate those monies our way.
Beautifully said. I can see why you're the president, Pete. <laughs> Thank you for your time. We hope you keep rocking this shirt because you look fabulous in it. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. We'll be back with more shortly.